Late this afternoon, migrants started arriving at St. John Villa Academy just as a judge ruled the city could not use the old school as a shelter. About 30 migrants are now refusing to leave, left in limbo with nowhere else to go as the city appeals the judge's decision. About 20 other migrants who arrived this afternoon decided to leave the shelter on their own after they were heckled by protesters outside of the school. They said that they did not feel safe. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan is live on Staten Island with the very latest. Jim. Liz, the people of Staten Island said no today, and they meant it. The mayor planned to house migrants from the southern border at this former grade school in a fully residential neighborhood with four other schools filled with children nearby. The city brought the migrants in, and they were greeted by their new neighbors. Welcome. A migrant crisis came to Staten Island today as dozens of recent immigrants were bused to a former Catholic school here for housing. Residents were furious. Go home! Where's the children? You're not welcome! We have an all-girls Catholic high school literally 50 feet from this facility. If your 16-year-old daughter attended this school, would you want a migrant, migrant shelter right across the street? To come down here and see this neighborhood and what's here and how the children are so close to it, we're not going to stand for it. I'm very sorry. We're not going to do it. I fought before for hell and I'll fight now for hell. And I'm not moving from this spot till this is close. That is it. Not having control at the border is insanity. Public officials from the borough held a news conference at the site and promised a lawsuit to prevent the school from being used as a shelter. And by early afternoon, they appear to have won. And he ruled that there's an emergency temporary restraining order from anyone occupying this building. For now, Staten Island's won. Soon, the migrants who had just arrived two hours earlier were on their way out. And it's not our responsibility. You know, come on, no one's giving me free food. No one's giving me free housing. Now, we have not been allowed into the school. We can't tell whether all of the migrants have left. We are told that some have refused to leave and are still staying, but the court order requires them to leave, and the matter will be reconsidered at another court hearing in September.